Christmas carols. You either love them or you hate them, and there's no Christmas carol quite like Jingle Bells. It's been covered by the stars, jingle bells, jingle all the way. parodied and satirised, and even has its own jokey lyrics. Jingle Bells, Batman smells, Robin lays an egg. But Jingle Bells actually has the most surprising story of any Christmas carol. Originally, it wasn't called Jingle Bells, and it had nothing to do with Christmas at all. One Horse Open Sleigh, a jaunty melody for the American holiday of Thanksgiving, was written by James Lord Pierpont in 1857. He was a songwriter best otherwise known for being the uncle of John Pierpont Morgan, the founder of J.P. Morgan, the massive investment bank, and for sadly supporting slavery and the South during the American Civil War. It was originally a drinking song. Given the content of the song's lyrics, historians think it's unlikely that it was intended to be a song for family-friendly occasions. The original Jingle Bells sure has some lyrics, ranging from a verse about a lean and lank horse having a crash, to the need to go out with girls while you're young, to this amazing verse where the narrator falls over in the snow and... A gent was riding by in a one-horse open sleigh he laughed as there I sprawling live and quickly drove away. Because we all know that laughing at injured people in the snow sure is the spirit of Christmas. <laughs> Jingle Bells has even changed its tune over the years. Originally, the song's chorus was a bit more complicated than it is today, even melancholic. Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle all the way. So you can see how over time the kinks have kind of been hammered out. Today the chorus is just super simple major chords like ones, fours, and fives. The basic building blocks of pop harmony, which makes it that bright, almost too joyous carol we all know and listen to. So to recap, Jingle Bells originally wasn't called Jingle Bells, it didn't have anything to do with Christmas, and it didn't really sound like it does today. And it still became one of the most popular songs on planet Earth. It was even the first song performed in space by two Gemini 6 astronauts in 1965 who smuggled a harmonica and sleigh bells into space to play the song. Roger, Houston and Gemini 7, this is Gemini 6, uh, stand by one. Gemini 7, Gemini 6, which just goes to show for all the budding songwriters out there that if you don't get it right first time, just give it a little over a hundred years of near legally enforced playing during the holiday season and you too might just write that song that jingles all the way.